Today we're going to look at whole number addition and subtraction. So two numbers can be added in any order. This is called the commutative law of addition. It doesn't apply to subtraction, so it doesn't work with subtraction, only addition. So you can see 3 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 3, and they both equal to 5. Three numbers can be added in any order. So this is called the associative law of addition. Once again, does not apply to subtraction, only addition, only addition. So it's like saying if we do 7 plus 2 plus 5, we can add the 7 plus 2 together first, or we can add the 2 plus 5 together first, it doesn't matter. So 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 5 is 14, and 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 7 is 14 as well. So we can add them in any order. Addition and subtraction algorithms can be used for larger numbers. An algorithm is just a procedure or a set of steps that you would do to complete a problem. Algorithm is a, an Arabic word, um, and a lot of our uh, mathematical terms actually come from Arabic. Let's have a look at an example using algorithms to calculate an addition and subtraction. So if we have a look at this first addition here, if we add 8 plus 7, that's 15. So we put the 5 down here, the 5 and the 1s, and carry the, the 1 10 that we have over to the 10s column. Then we have 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, and 9 plus 2 is 11. So the answer is 1,155. For our subtraction algorithm here, if we have 141 minus 86, we can't take 6 away from 1, so we borrow, uh, take, a, take 1 from the tens column and make it 11 rather than the 1, and have 11 minus 6, which is 5, and then we're, we've, because we've taken the 1 away, from that tens, it's become three, so that's now 13 uh, in the hundreds and tens column. So 13 minus eight is five. So the answer for 114 minus 86 is 55. So you can see the algorithm that we've used is the set of steps that we use to calculate an addition or a subtraction by hand.